Sewell Sewell and welcome to my Let's Play series, All of Them Witches. My name is Charlie and you're watching my channel, Charlie Says Sewell Sewell. For those of you who know, I'm a real life practicing witch and I also play Sims, so All of Them Witches is a series where I can blend both. The subseries that you're watching right now is All of Them Witches Charmed, which is a subseries where we rotate through the households of Piper, Prue, Paige, and Phoebe. And today I'm going to be introducing you to Phoebe and her family. Without any further ado, let's jump into Cass. In the last part, I introduced you to Piper and Leo and the household that they live in, which includes Penelope, the grandma, and Patty, the mom. So Phoebe is Patty's third daughter. So she's not, she's the third oldest, essentially. So we'll get into talking about Phoebe. Phoebe went through a lot of men before finding her soulmate. She had kind of bad luck in love for a long time, but she did find him and her aspiration is soulmate, which gives her the bonus trait of alluring, which I think anyone who watches the show would agree that Phoebe is. She's also creative, hot-headed, and romantic, and she is um, adept, I believe, is the level of spellcrafter that she is. Phoebe's husband is Coop, which is short for Cupid, because he's a Cupid. So Phoebe um, and Coop met toward the very later seasons of the TV series. And in this Let's Play, Coop is also a soulmate, is his aspiration, uh -huh. and he is alluring. He's also good, family-oriented, and romantic. He doesn't have a job um, like outside of the home. He's a stay-at-home dad, so he stays home with his and Phoebe's three kids. PJ Hallowell, which is short for Prudence Jana, and Prudence comes from her Aunt Prue, is the oldest of the three children that Phoebe and Coop have together. Her aspiration is whiz kid and she is a bookworm. Parker Hallowell is the middle child and she's a rambunctious scamp and she's also active. The youngest daughter is Peyton Hallowell and she's a toddler. And taking after her dad, she is a charmer. All three of the girls are half witch, half cupid, but they won't inherit their powers until they become teenagers. Phoebe and Coop work really hard to juggle their lives as parents and Phoebe's job and raising these kids as well as their magical life, and sometimes it can be a little exhausting. So I'll move into the house tour next so you can see um, their little house that they live in together as a family. All right, as you can see the house here, I also have some cars in the front yard. I'm not sure if any of you know, but those of you uh, who watch the show, Phoebe has a Mini Cooper, which is awesome because I love Mini Coopers, so I have some custom content in the game. Uh, and she, that's her Mini Cooper in the driveway. Uh, but yeah, we've got um, this nice little, I'm not sure what style this is, if it's like colonial or, or what, but we will head inside now. All right, if we walk up the front porch here, there's the front door. When you first walk in over to the right, there's like a little nook. Oh, and the girls. I have the game paused right now so that we didn't get the pop-ups like asking, like the parenting, the parenthood pop-ups. Um, so yeah, the girls must be on their way to school right now. Uh, but there's just a, like a little nook and then there's a, the staircase that goes upstairs. A bulletin board for family events when you are a witch that has to save the world it's important that you are really good at like scheduling and organizing then in the front room um, it's it's pretty small it's just like a big open room there's the dining area right here and then the living room area right over here there's the cat box for Kit Kat, who is mid-air right now. What are you doing? Uh, her feet are really hot, so she doesn't want to... The floor is lava, apparently. Okay, so that's um, the living area and Kit. This is a kitchen, just like a galley-style kitchen. We can go into the backyard. I don't actually remember what's back here. Uh, school project is back here. All right, coming back inside, I have all of the um, Hallowells living in Oasis Springs because it was at the time that I started making this world, it was the closest that we had to California. Um, San Maishino, I think, would be more close to San Francisco, kind of. I feel like it's, it's more, we see more of the residential side of San Francisco in Charmed. So I have them in, in Oasis Springs, plus in... San Maishino, there are not enough buildable lots. They'd all have to be renting apartments, which I didn't want. I wanted them all to have family homes. So in here is just a small bathroom. You guys, the lights are doing that weird thing again where 
it won't let me turn them all on. It's only auto lights or off. So it's going to be another uh, kind of dim house tour. I'm so sorry. All right, we'll head upstairs right now. The one thing that is good is that at least now it's daytime, so it's not as dark as the first two house tours. So we're at the top of the stairs right now. Um, when you first walk up, there's just a small laundry area right over here. And then straight ahead in this doorway is... Um, this is Melinda's, not Melinda, oh my gosh, um, Peyton's bedroom. I'll back out of there. In this door we have Phoebe and Coop's room. They have a big romantic red bed. They also have an ensuite. So here we go here. And then if we go back out... Oh, that's where we were, that's the stairs. In this room, this is the bedroom that um, PJ and Parker both share. So they share this room. So, and that's basically it. It's a pretty small house, very similar to Prue's in size. I think it might be a little bit, uh, a little bigger than Prue and Andy's house, but it's still a very modest size, you know, two-story house. So I'm going to leave this part here and we're going to pop over to say hi to Paige and her family, meet them, and get a house tour. Now that you've been introduced to Phoebe and Coop and their family, we're going to take a look at the youngest charm sister, Paige, and her family. Paige Hallowell, who's formerly Paige Matthews before she took on her family name, is the youngest half-sister of Prue, Piper, and Phoebe. She's half-witch and half-white lighter because she has a different father than the original three. But when Prue died in the TV series, Paige swooped in and she completed the power of three that was missing without Prue. Paige's uh, career field in this game is politician. Not because she's a politician, but because she's really into charity work. Um, so that's what she does in the game. Her aspiration is soulmate, which gives her the bonus trait of being alluring. She's also outgoing, good, and romantic. Like her other three sisters, Paige is really just trying to juggle having a family while also being a witch. Paige married Henry, who is a mortal, and Henry is a detective. He works mostly focused on child welfare. His aspiration is to be a friend of the world, which gives him the gregarious bonus trait. He's also outgoing, good, and active. Paige and Henry have three children together. The first two are twins, Tamara and Kat Mitchell. Both of them are rambunctious scamps, but Tamara is active while Kat is a perfectionist. The youngest child is Henry Jr., and he is the adopted son of Paige and Henry. Because of his early months in his life before he was adopted, he didn't have the care and the love that he needed. He was a bit neglected. So as a result, he has the trait of being clingy. Whenever someone like his family or his parents or caregivers are not around, he gets really sad and upset because of these insecurities that come from being essentially a neglected and unwanted child at your, the very, very, um, you know, first few months of his life. Now that I've introduced you, we'll head on over for the house tour. This is the house that Paige and Henry live in. Um, I have no idea what Paige is wearing. She must have just gotten back from the magic realm because when, th when they're in the magic realm, they wear like really weird clothes. But we'll uh, take a look. I'll show you around the yard first. Their house is a lot bigger than um, Prue's and Phoebe's house. Houses. They each have one. <laughs> All right, so there's like lots of like garden stuff. We've got some sunflowers. I'll show you the backyard here in a moment, but we'll head in. Actually, I'm going to take you in the front door. All right, so coming through the front door, we enter into the living room. And looks like Henry is about getting ready to go to work. I have it on pause just in case everybody leaves and then all of a sudden, like, the time speeds up. I'd like to take advantage of the fact that there's daylight since the lights are not working. All right, so this is the front room. That's where we came in. We'll stop into this room first. I want to say that this is a library or an office. Yeah, this is an office. 
so like a little study. I'll come back out here. I'm going to head over into this area. This is the dining room. So this is where they all eat breakfast and lunch and dinner. And then we'll come over into the kitchen. I also did not download this house. Uh, I mean, I didn't, I did download this house. I did not build it. So thank you to whoever built this house. I downloaded a bunch of houses all at once, like a few years ago. Um, and then it wraps back around. You can go through the kitchen back into the living room, which is where we just were. So whoopsies. We're going to go upstairs. Oh, wait, what's in here? Is that the kitchen again? Was that where we just came out of? Yeah, it is. Okay. So I'm going to take you outside because there is a side door here where we can go outside and see the backyard. They've got some garden boxes in case they want to uh, plant some things. Looks like the twins are outside playing. Just a nice little modest backyard. And then I'll bring you back in this other side door because there are two. Wait, are there two? Is there a door on this side too? There is, okay. I couldn't remember if it was just a big wraparound porch with just access to the front door or if there was also a side door. So we'll come back in here and it's in the dining room. So now we're gonna head over to the stairs and we'll head upstairs. All right, so we're at the stairs. I will see you up there. Okay, I'm so sorry, it's so dim up here. I don't know what's going on with the lighting, but that's the top of the stairs. And then if you turn, whoops, to the right, where am I? Stairs are right there, okay. If you turn to the right, go in this door. This is Henry Jr.'s bedroom. It's a nice little bedroom for Henry. And then there's also um, a bathroom a attached to it. So there's like a little ensuite for him. And then in this room it is another bathroom, apparently. I thought it was going to be a bedroom. And in this room is Tamara and Kat's room. So they share this bedroom. Got a dollhouse. It's a nice big room. It's nice and spacious. So we'll leave this room. And then at the end of the corridor is Paige and Henry's room. So a nice, pleasant room. Oh, and there's another, is this an ensuite? Yes, they also have a bathroom, a his and hers sink, an ensuite in their um, room. So they have a, a larger house than two of the two of the four. Two of they have the larger house. It's not quite as big as the Hallowell Manor, but it's larger than Prue's house and Phoebe's house. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, the first two videos, of course, were the introductions of all four of the sisters and their families. Um, if you have any ideas of what you'd like to see, please feel free to leave a comment. Otherwise, I hope that you'll tune in next time. Until then, I'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.